Sculptor Seward Johnson enjoyed tracing the repeated motifs seen throughout the history of art. Here he takes the notion of viral, something spreading and increasing in intensity, and applies it to this multifigured scene. Building exponentially through the eras, the sculptor brings together the disparate, creative voices of these painters. He includes himself and even us, the viewer, resulting in a lakeside tour de force. I'm working on a new piece, Manet painting, Monet painting, and I was going to call it viral art. I realized that Winston Churchill, who also paints, very much liked the Impressionists. So I put him between me and Manet because he was alive before Manet died and I was alive before he died. And so the, 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 the virus could have been a, a gone through all of us. Seward Johnson developed this sculpture consisting of five distinct parts over a period of years beginning in 2013 and completing in 2019. I have done myself, I've done Manet, I've done Monet, I've done the boat, and I'm just finishing Churchill now. I had Churchill's granddaughter up to criticize my work, and uh, and it turned out that I particularly loved a one-third size maquette I'd done, and then I turned it over to my modeling department and, and had them sort of take that and enlarge it, as it were. If the virus is art, is creativity, then surely Seward Johnson embodied the concept of inviting everyone to be a part of it, to join in, to catch this virus, and to feel into, as he so often said, the visceral moment. I love capturing interactions between people that are fleeting and capture a way that people relate and sort of catch them at, at off guard in that. It's, uh, it is more human that way. And that's what art is always about. It allows humanity to come through in a sneaky way. We, we try to gracefully allow it to peek out once in a while. <laughs>